friends this is Zach from the dynamic music room back and today we are looking at seven of my favorite music education blogs now there are probably I know I know from looking at lists there are at least a hundred out there around there and probably more that I haven't even discovered yet and with so many out there you may be wondering like what should I check out which ones are good so I came up with this list of seven and yes one of them you are like really you put that on there? Yep, I did. I'm proud of it, so I'm going to put it on there. Well, let's go through these seven point by point, and I'll, I'll tell you my favorite parts about each of their blogs and um, things like that. So let's get to it. First up is probably one of the biggest ones out there. This is uh, Mrs. Miracle's Music Room, and links to all of these blogs will be in the description. Uh, Mrs. Miracle, or Aileen Miracle is her name. She has been doing the teacher pay teacher thing for a for quite a while now. She's known as one of the top teacher pay teacher music education people with a ton of products to to check out. She also has a cool podcast and a very active Facebook group that you should consider joining and that kind of thing. And she's also working on some courses. She does a lot of presentations. In fact, um, the Michigan Kodai chapter, which I helped to refound after it shut down. Um, she was one of the first people we brought back because, funny story and small world, we actually went to the same college. Here's a few years apart, not that far apart, but the same college. And in fact, we had the same host teacher for our, our student teaching experience, um, which was pretty funny to, um, to think about. But her stuff is really good. And she's an excellent presenter on technology, and also on um, assessments and that kind of thing. And she she approaches things from a Kodai perspective, which is, you know, we we can talk about that another time, but you can also check some of it out uh, on my blog too, talking about Kodai stuff. So definitely check this out. The next one I want you to check out is, let me get these out of here, is another um, music education blogger who also runs a teacher pay teacher store. This is Mrs. Stoffer's Music Room. Mrs. Stoffer, Melissa, is a dear friend of mine. We also went to the same college, although at the same time, and we work together, we present together all the time. Um, she does really great stuff. She had a, a really popular YouTube video that came out in the summer of 2020, depending on when you're listening to this, on um, those, what are they called, the Bitmoji classrooms, those things. Yeah, she did like an instructional video and it got a lot of popularity, um, but she works her tail off at everything she does and her, her stuff is really cool. Her products are very attractive and well put together. And she's kind of eclectic in her teaching style. Like she approaches things from a Kodai perspective, but um, she's taught elementary, middle school, um, band, choir, and general music. She's, she's done it all. So she has resources on a little bit of everything. So that's good stuff. Now, the third one I want you to check out is David Rao over at Make Moments Matter. Now, he approaches things from an eclectic, but definitely an ORF-inspired um, perspective from the ORF perspective. He's got YouTube, he's got podcast blog, tons of stuff in his store, lots of things. You you may have heard of him. You probably have. He's probably one of the, the most popular music education bloggers out there. And his stuff is just well, well done. Well done. And his blogs are like substantial too. They get they get pretty lengthy. He's pretty detailed while keeping them practical. So I encourage you to check out Make Moments Matter as well. Um, David lived in Michigan, near where I live, for a, a few years. So we got to um, hang out and work together a few times. He's a really cool guy. The fourth one, she's not as well known, but her stuff is like, is, real, is really good, is, is at Frau Music USA, um, she calls herself. And um, her stuff, she also has a teacher paid teacher store, which is, is, is good. And you can check out those products there as well. But I, I like her, um, her authentic and yet, um, what's the word? A deliberate, um, style of going through things. I actually did a guest blog for her. I was inspired to write an article after reading a bunch of, um, stuff about, you know, camp songs and 
like traditional traditional music that sometimes we we some music teachers kind of frown upon as like well it's not real folk music and that kind of thing that we that we can embrace so i really like her stuff for that terry is a super nice person and you should definitely check this out all right the fifth one yeah i put it there i had to yep this is mine dynamic music um i i approach things I have a lot of Kodai training, although my host teacher was an, was an ORF certified guy. I've attended workshops and everything else. I try to keep myself eclectic, although the bulk of my training is from a Kodai inspired teachings perspective. However, I try not to make my resources that way, although I'm sure it bleeds into a little bit. But they, these three words down here, authentic, engaging, and cooperative. Um, those, are, those are really big things about um, my blog and what I like to put out there. And I... I try to put out a ton of content for you guys. I think I've got it's something like 160 posts I did the first year of teaching. And we've got lots of like lots of practical things and lots of little informational articles that are short but but still good. So I hope you check out my site. I mean, if you're watching this video, you you've seen the YouTube channel, but also check out the site, subscribe to the email list, check out products. I should have at least one ebook up for sale by the time this video goes live. So yeah, just check it out. Check it out. I mean, this is one of my favorite ones, not not just to brag, but I put a lot of work into it and I'm pretty proud of it. Anyway, back back away from the self-promotion. I feel I feel a little sleazy self-promoting myself, but you know, it is what it is. This is the domestic musician. Um, and Jessica is she's she hasn't created as many products and she's kind of gotten a little bit away from blogging lately, but her podcast is just killer. She's got so much stuff going on. She interviews um, people in the music education industry. It's her stuff is just, it's, it's great. And she's also, oh yeah, worked with Musical U. Musical U is really cool. You should check them out too. Although they're not so much for music educators, they're more for music education for adults, helping adults get better at music. But she's worked with them. I've talked to them too. They're cool. And uh, she's got her own book, programs, resources, courses, and stuff like that. You should definitely check this out, especially the podcast. And lastly, we got over here. Oh, get out of here, you. All right. So this is NAFME. Um, I don't know where you've been if you haven't heard of NAFME, but it's the National Association for Music Education. Um, this is our national organization in America for... <coughs> um, music teachers, not just elementary music teachers, which is where I come from, but all kinds of music teachers. And they have a ton of awesome resources. And it's, it's kind of hard to find, but I'll link it. Their blog's called Music in a Minuet. It's under teachers here, and it's Music in a Minuet blog. It's kind of it's kind of hidden. I wish they put it out there more up front, but they've got a lot of stuff going on, so I don't blame them for that. They're not a blog first, but the blogs they do put out are by their big name people. And they, they cover important topics. You can see um, a last few of them are, at, at least at the time of this posting, de dealing with COVID-19 and how it's changed the way that we're approaching music. Oh, we've got a whole bunch of these now. Yeah, yeah. So they're really like, you know, they're the, the blog and this this whole the whole organization are they're just advocates and supports for music across America. And even if you're not in America, you can still access the blog. The blog itself is completely free. Um, but if you're not a member, I encourage you to join. The stuff in here is really good. And sometimes, you know, they um, they they reprint people's articles. Like I've, I've seen some some people who wrote some just killer articles and they submitted them to NAFME. And NAFME is like, we like it so much, they, they borrow that same article. But, you know, there's nothing wrong with that at all. So these are the seven. I totally encourage you to check out. Um, I'll put these links to each one of these in the YouTube description. And I hope that this helps you, gives you some things to check out. And, you know, if, if you're bored and you have free time, not sure where you're getting the free time, but if you have it, check these resources out and, you know, maybe lighten the load a little bit on yourself. I mean, we have to work with the kids directly. Sometimes it's, it's okay to turn to someone else and use some of their resources to make your life just a little bit easier. All right. Well, if you liked this video and you like the content we put out, don't forget to subscribe and share it with other people. Until next time, keep on singing.